Question 12. The straight line L has equation 3x take away 2y equals 15. Calculate or find the gradient of L. So in order to be able to quote the gradient of a straight line, it must first be written in y equals mx plus c form, where m stands for the gradient. So whatever number multiplies by x when y is on its own, that's going to be our gradient. So this equation, 3x take away 2y equals 15, the first thing I'm going to do is add 2y to both sides of it, so we end up with a positive y term. I'm then going to take away 15 from both sides, which will give us this. I can rewrite this the other way around if I want, because why not have the y on the left-hand side? And then when I divide everything by 2, that is going to give me the following. I don't want to write this as a single fraction, because we have this takeaway sign here. I can write them both over 2 separately, but more importantly, because of the fact that we need our mx and our c terms to be separate. So we end up with a 3 over 2x, and we end up with a takeaway 15 over 2, which means that our gradient is 3 over 2, which could also be written as 1.5, but technically 3 over 2 has more utility. Writing gradients as fractions is more useful in the long run. Part B, find the coordinates of the point where L, that is our line here, crosses the y-axis. Well, the y-axis intercept, or the y-intercept, is the value of c when it's written in y equals mx plus c form, which means that this number here will tell us where on the y-axis or how high on the y-axis our line intersects with it. Therefore, our y-coordinate is minus 15 over 2. Our x-coordinate, because of the fact that we are on the, x on the y-axis, sorry, our x-value will be 0. Part C. Find an equation of the line that is parallel to L and crosses the x-axis at minus 2, 0. So parallel to L basically means that we're going to have the same gradient as L, which means our m is also going to be 3 over 2 for our question. And we have been given a point on the line minus 2 comma 0. So we've been given a x is minus 2 when y is 0. So y equals mx plus c is the form of our line. We know what m is, so I can update our equation to look like this. And then when we sub in a point that we are given onto our line, we can then figure out what c is. So I sub in 0, I sub in negative 2, and I solve this equation for c, which is going to give us 0 is minus 3 plus c, which gives us 3 as c. And then what I do is I update our original equation to give us y equals 3 over 2x plus 3. Done.